Hello everyone. In this next Power Automate demonstration video, I'm going to show you how to automatically detect the encoding of a file. This is a great way to find out what scheme was used to encode a particular file, so you can ensure there won't be any errors when sharing that file across browsers and systems. I'm going to use a standard ASCII encoded file to demonstrate and set up a basic email alert to get that information instantly. Let's get right into it. From the Power Automate homepage, click Create and select Instant Cloud Flow on the following page. Next, give your flow a name, and then select Manually Trigger a Flow before you click Create at the bottom to move on to the Flow Diagram page. When you're ready, let's click New Step and get the file we want. Search Get File Content into the Operations search bar, and if your file is in SharePoint, click on that action and select your site address right after. To get your file, use the File Picker and navigate the folder path until you find it. Once you do, we can move on and incorporate the Cloudmersive operation. Click New Step again, and this time type Cloudmersive into the operation search bar. From the list of Cloudmersive connectors below, select the File Processing option with the purple logo. After that, you'll be able to search for file processing actions. You can scroll down this list or just type Detects Text Encoding to pull up the right action. After you select it, you'll be able to define a few basic parameters. But first, however, you'll need to include your Cloudmersive API key to authenticate this operation. If you don't have an API key, you can get one easily by registering a free account on our website, cloudmersive.com. You'll get a limit of 800 free API calls per month and access to dozens of other connectors. Once you enter that in here, it'll save for your next use and you won't have to worry about entering it again in the future. Now, let's get back to the action parameters. Simply click on the search bar and select File Content from the Dynamic Content window, which will pull the file content from the prior step. Then, copy the entire file name from the previous step and copy it into the second parameter here to finish configuring this action. When you're ready, we can now decide what to do with the output content from the operation. As mentioned earlier, I'm going to show you how to get an email with this information sent to you. Click New Step and type Outlook Send an Email. Select the V2 option. This Outlook option will allow you to pick who you're sending the email to and it'll let you create a customized subject and message body to send. First, elect to send yourself the email. Then, give your email a relevant subject, similar to mine. Finally, click on the email body and select the dynamic content option text encoding to ensure your message displays the key information that we want. After that, it's time to save and test the flow. Click save at the bottom of the page and then click test in the upper right corner. Below, select the option to trigger the flow manually and then click test at the bottom followed by continue and run flow. If the flow ran successfully, you'll see green check marks come up on each operation in the flow shortly after testing. Then, you'll get an email in your Outlook inbox stating the file encoding. As you can see here, I got my email with the exact text and information I specified. That concludes this demonstration. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more Cloudmersive Power Automate tutorials in the near future.